Hello, fellas. That's another key visit. Uh, I got to part it out. Try to part it up. No luck. Blues, blows the fuses. Anyway. So now I'll show you what I can, what you can scavenge from this kind of TVs. First of all, what I like to scavenge in CRT TVs is a degauss coil. You will find it wrapped around from the backside of CRT. It contains a lot of nuts and a mild wire which is not glued together and very easy to take, to unwind. Next thing that I like to scavenge is the speakers. In this case it's a round speaker which uh, like two or three watts wide band stuff in this case four ohms if memory serves me right next thing that i like to scavenge rf modules because they contain uh, rf transistors along with the reactor diode so i can use it for my projects or keep them intact and use in other tvs mm. sometimes you will come across with a tv that has bad reception very poor reception so i can just plug it in and see what is causing that kind of problem is it a uh, tuners which is two boxes on the left or is it something other the other box on the right which is kind of yellow goldish in a video is a channel selector next thing that i like to scavenge in this particular part uh, damn it in this particular TV is, is hidden under this cage. A power supply is hidden there. Why I want uh, that kind of the most? This power supply is very flexible and this TV is overall very modular. I can take out um, each module basically. So I can take out this power supply which is uh, basically the size of the board is exactly like the cage exactly the size of the case cage so yeah it's not very big and i can use it for repairing other tvs let's say that i got a tv that is completely dead so and has power supply blown completely like a lot of components blown you need lots of uh, to put a lot of work in in it and probably end up with uh, TVs that has a bad uh, flyback or something like that. That's where this power supply is very nice because I can adjust it a little bit, adjust the voltages to get some right uh, power up, the tech it in instead of that power supply and see if the TV will start up. If the TV starts up and everything is nice, flyback is okay, horizontal output transistor is okay, it has a vertical deflection walking right, uh, picture tube produces a nice image, yeah. Then I will pay some time and, atten time and effort to repair the original power supply. But if I use this power supply and I'll find out that picture tube like is have a very poor emissions or have uh, TV has a uh, Mm, bad flyback or stuff like that or a lot of components busted then no thanks again as i mentioned the, this uh, tv is very modular this module that you can see is so called color module what it does is it takes an uh, decoded video signal demodulated i i should say and splits it into three channels, red, green and blue, which you can see this ribbon cable is, which goes straight to the neck board and drives the guns, cathodes of the guns there. This board module houses a lot of RF stuff, two tuners, which is uh, on the left, a UHF tuner, then from the left to the right UHF tuner, VHF tuner, channel selector. This board power supply, this board interconnections board, this board vertical deflection board, and this board is horizontal output board which houses output transistor, flyback, a lot of other gibberish along with some magic stuff and, uh, and a voltage tripler. 
multiplier, I should say, but it's a tripler. Yep, so that's about it. Now I will go and part out this TV because it blows the fuses and I don't... Actually, if I had a lot of time, I would pay some time to repair it and see what causes that kind of crap. But I don't want to. As I mentioned previously, a person told me that the TV has a bad picture tube. He's... Oh, I didn't mention. This TV has a bad picture tube. A man who gave it to me said that his kids uh, used to play a lot of video games on this TV. So yeah. Yeah, good old times when you connect your like Nintendo or or Dandy which is more kind of was more popular here which in that kind of video games had not like composite video output or S video output but so interesting stuff like RF modulated output which you connect straight to the antenna terminals on your TV tune in right channel and play video games yeah but the problem with playing that kind of stuff is that CRTs basically hate static images. Static images, what that is about? Like, take for example a game called Duck Hunt. Everybody probably knows what that is. That game in basically has a lot of static parts of the image. Basically, what only moves in that game is the ducks and a dog yeah so that's it other parts of the image is static and they basically appear on the screen all the time and cause the phosphor itself but causes the actual phosphor inside the screen to be damaged sometimes it becomes so severely damaged that even on tvs that is off you can see and burn marks well on this TV you don't but you know anyway I will strip it out because this video already takes forever <sighs> yep rent video brand new for me anyway I'll better stop talking before I made some horrible mistakes in pronunciation and stuff like that thanks for watching bye